Well, just like in one of my previous videos, today we have a lot of grain in the granary. So we don't have access to all of it. Boy, this place is almost full today. We're getting the gear ready. And just look how filthy this place is. That's why we use this plastic cover. I'll be shooting my Huben K1 25 caliber. The gun is semi-auto, 25 caliber like I said, it has a long barrel, 560 mm, it's very powerful and it's just great for pest control and hunting. I think I'm gonna go for headshots today and since life is abundant, I decided to try using my side shot with a GoPro even though we are indoors. Alright, let me stop it right here. Initially I really thought that there was sufficient light for this scope coming setup, especially because it was sunny outside. But then a couple of shots later, when I looked at the screen of my GoPro, I realized that the image was as dark as the first time that I actually tried using this setup without indoor permission of mine, especially because it was starting to get cloudy outside. Now, I did enhance the video files digitally, to the best of my ability of course, because I really wanted to share those nice headshots that I was able to take there that day. Still, I'd like to warn you that the video quality on some of the shots is pretty poor. Bear with me, and I hope you enjoy the video nonetheless. All right, enough of the chit chat. Let's get to it. Oh, that's really brutal. Got this one almost in the eye. This one took a pellet to the back of the head. That's the one that was moving its head too much, but still I managed to get it. And the second whitey. Guys, I think I blew the top of its head off. Now see, that's what makes me angry. You can't shoot those because of the glass. Okay, you get a free pass this time. Don't know if I should risk it. It was spot on and the glass is intact. It's okay. That's the one that I got close to the window. Looks like it was hit right here at the back of the head.
Nah, I miscalculated the angle on this one. And I think it was a neck shot. Some more graphic imagery. Wow, this one's head is really busted. Man, this one is moving its head too much. They're pretty wary today. Ah, oh, still I got him. Trust me, you don't want to see the other side of this one's head. I'm starting to wonder if I'm gonna get in trouble with YouTube for displaying such imagery. No comment on this one. Can you see all the little buggers outside waiting to get in?
so that's enough shooting for today. We have a locker for ourselves. We have some rubber gloves inside, some nylon bags for the carcasses, and of course, my dreaded waders. I'm gonna put them on right now. I'm gonna collect the pigeons on the grain, and that will be it for today. Rubber gloves, plastic bag, and up I go. So we just spent a couple of hours indoors in my new permission in the warehouse with my Huben K1 in 25 caliber. The problem is that my scope coming setup is not good enough for filming in these low light conditions. It's not dark, but the light is not sufficient for the side shot in the Eagle Vision lens. So I decided to go out, go to the silos at my older permission and record some more headshots for you to see. It's cold today, it's windy and it's also raining, but there are some pigeons and I think that the light is sufficient for some nice scope cam footage. Let's see what we can record. See you in a bit guys. Yeah, it's cold, it's rainy and it's windy outside, but it was worth paying this place a visit because now I'll be able to provide you with footage that is much better quality. Here's another one I shot outside. Now I think I see fragments of its skull. This pigeon was right up there and as it fell down I heard kind of a bump. It's not on that rooftop, I already checked. So I think it might be up there. I want to see if it really was a headshot. That's why I'm gonna climb that ladder and see. Gotta be careful, I hope that the handles are not too slippery because of the rain. That's really weird, I don't see it anywhere. But anyways, I'm sure that the cats or the birds of prey are gonna get the carcass. That looks like a nice and clean headshot. It's starting to get dark. No more pigeons left out in the open. So I think I'm gonna call it a day.